was Scott. I missed you last week. I had the opportunity to go out and visit my uh, daughter, Chelsea, out in Telluride, Colorado, and I tore up the slopes. Yes, I did. It was great. So I'm back this week, and we're actually going to be talking about snow because it has been a big deal here in Minnesota and cold. So I'm Scott Rajivori with Titus Contracting. Uh, we're a residential and commercial remodeler in Minnesota in the Twin City area. We love what we do. We love talking about it. And sometimes we talk about uh, tips and things to look for at your uh, home because um, we don't want to have to come out and help you repair things because the snow or ice has done damage. So uh, this year it's been an incredible year for us in Minnesota with snow. We had a record February snowfall, 39 inches. Uh, I remember years and years ago as a kid having snow like this, but it's been a while since I remember having so much snow. And then on top of it, cold, lots of cold. Um, so snow and cold create issues. So here's some things to look for um, at your home, things to pay attention to. Number one, you have vents coming out your house. People don't think about the fact that now we have these high uh, efficiency furnaces and water heaters and there's often intake and there's exhaust and sometimes those come out fairly close to the ground. There's codes on how far they have to be above, but we're not used to having as much snow as we have on the ground and all the, uh, the wind blowing and creating drifts. So locate where your uh, vents come out, dryer vents too, any kind of intake or vent and make sure those are not obstructed. That's a bad thing. We don't want that. Um, another thing to be looking out for is if you've got a sump pump, where that sump pump uh, discharges at. Because if you get snow and ice build up around your sump pump discharge, a good way to burn out your sump pump or flood your house is to have that hose obstructed. Um, we actually, I think I actually did this in my house one time a long time ago, probably five, 10 years, 15 years ago, I can't remember, but I remember that it actually will heat up the water and, and I, I felt warm, like moist air and it was because my sump pump had been running for so long. So watch that, watch for that. Another thing is, um, you know, sometimes people see snow building up outside, they don't wanna go deal with it. It's front of a patio door, a door, a low window, whatever. That heat from the window or patio door or whatever will melt the snow, then it will freeze again creating like an ice dam like you'd have on a roof and potentially could be pushing water right underneath that door or window or whatever. So do take the time to clean those out and, and be paying attention to that. A question we often have is, what about all that snow on my deck? I know my wife worries about this. Um, she's very good about going out and cleaning off the deck. I'm not so good at, about that. But here's a little uh, thing to keep in mind. Um, so Water weighs about, I've got to check my notes because I want to be accurate on this, about six, a little over 62 pounds a cubic foot. So not, you know, we're not talking gallons here. It's about 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. So um, what so how snow is figured is it's usually somewhere between 5 to 32 percent of that. So in, in the Midwest, where we're at, it's around 20%, roughly, depending on how heavy the snow. We've all gone out and shoveled it, and we know that sometimes the snow is heavier than others. So um, if, if uh, you've got snow on the deck and, and we're at 20%, that puts us at about 12, a little over 12 pounds per square foot of snow, which means about one uh, pound per inch. So if you've got eight inches of snow, that's about eight pounds per square foot. You've got a 300 square foot deck, that's about 2,400 pounds. Um, decks in Minnesota are required to uh, be designed for 40 pounds of live load. What that means to you is 40 pounds is like you being on the deck. So it's designed to carry 40 pounds per square foot. So if you had 20 inches of snow, you'd have about 20 pounds per square foot. Not a good idea to be having all that snow build up, because again, you got patio doors and things like that. But just if you're concerned, um, it, it should be able to withstand that, but it's still a good di deal, uh, idea not to stress out your, um, uh, your deck by having so much weight on it. 
The last thing I want to point out, and I'm going to see if I can pull up a picture on my phone here as we're talking. You know, Mr. Mr. IT guy here. He's like, my, my picture went away, but I'm good at this. I'm going to pull this up. Um, the last thing is is ice dam. So here's a picture of snow and ice on a roof building up. That's a lot. Uh, the best thing you can do, and I'm not a very good one at following this myself, is to pull that snow with a snow rake off your roof. Don't get up on your roof. Don't don't be doing things dangerous. And but pull the snow off your roof and don't ever give it a chance to build up. But what you need to understand is if you don't, because of the airflow on the roof, the way it's designed to come in the soffit vent and up through the roof vent. Sometimes those roof vents get blocked, or the the if you've got a um, uh, ridge vent, you know, they get blocked because of all the snow. Watch for that. But the air movement isn't right. Heat escapes from your house. It makes the snow melt up high. It comes down to the bottom of the roof and it freezes again where it's much colder. The ice builds up and what happens is that ice pushes water underneath your shingles. And that's why you have moisture in your house and get these terrible um, insurance claims with all this water in your house. So in, in, in Minnesota, I'm not sure uh, warm, in warmer states what they require, but we put ice and water up on the lower portion of the roof because of that. But Older houses don't have that, and even when you have that, when you saw that picture I showed you, it's in the valleys and it's pushing up, so those ice dams create issues. Um, what I recommend, and I'm gonna close on this, is that you don't get up there on your roof and start smacking it with a sledgehammer or chipping away and damaging your roof. It's expensive, but if you let yourself get to that point, it's best to steam it off, and I've actually got a link to a really cool time-lapse video of steaming off your, your ice dams, but it's just best if Mr. Technology here will show you again the picture Whoop, right there. It's best if it doesn't get too much and you build up and get these ice dams because it is expensive to get them removed. And those guys are really busy right now and they're making a lot of money. Good for them because I don't know that they've had a lot of business over the last few years. So that's about it for now. There's other things we could talk about regarding the snow, but uh, it's beautiful. We love Minnesota. We love our seasons. It's been a tough one this year, but we're tough people up here in Minnesota, right? So with that, I'm going to sign off. This is Scott Rajivori. It's what hot, what hot, <laughs> what's hot with Scott, uh, the Titus Contracting here in Minnesota. Thanks for joining us. If you've got any questions, give us a call. Thanks so much.